Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Haste today with 444. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is another Pokemon Black and White Wi Fi battle with Lone Hunter from Game Facts, the Elite Divided. This is one of the best battles I think ever in the history of black and white Wi-Fi battling because me and Lone go all out, we let each other have it, and this is the result. Hope you guys enjoy. Hey guys, so the battle begins. Jap's gonna be leading off with his Gengar. I'm gonna bring in my Politoed to start the rain and bring the pain. <laughs> Actually, no, this this Gengar comes out with me a little bit of surprise. It's gonna lead with a Thunder. That's gonna be all true for Politoed because, well, let's face it, being a water type, can't take a any kind of electric move to save their life, so I'm gonna grab my Toxic Croak here. My prize possession. Gonna go for the Sucker Punch right here, and it's gonna completely tear his Gengar a new one, and that's a short lived life for Gengar. Kind of a revenge kill there for Toxic Croak, which is cool. Gonna bring in Dragonair right here. I don't know if he was expecting this or not, but I'm gonna go with an Ice Punch, and that's just. That's just gonna. That's eh, gonna do almost half health. Gonna go for the Thunder Wave here, it's gonna paralyze my Toxic Croak. I'm not really too concerned because, well, Toxicroak's the boss, so I'm going to bring in Reuniculus again. I'm going to go for bulk up right here because I was honestly expecting a switch. So I'm going to get the attack and defense boost. And I'm going to go for a Sucker Bunch here, and it's thanks to the bulk up boost, it's going to get almost enough to take it out. I'm going to go for Shadow Ball right here. It's going to do decent moderate damage. Almost, actually, wow. A lot more than I thought. I'm gonna get my dry skin here thanks to the rain, and I'll go for another sucker punch, expecting a uh, another shadow ball. Goes for a cover instead, and I'm just kinda like, err, that sucks. So, I get my dry skin heal again. I'm gonna go for a cover yet again. I'm not really sure what uh, he was going for here, but I expect the recover again, so I go just go for a bulk up. I'm just kinda building up my defenses and stuff, expecting something sometime soon. I was honestly expecting a Psy Shock or something from Reuniclus, but I don't get it. So he's going to bring out Dragonair again, and I'm going for a Sucker Punch. Doesn't do anything because, well, the switch. I'm going to go for an Ice Punch here, and that's going to be enough to take out Dragonair after the two bulk ups. And so far I'm looking pretty good, but, uh, things are about to get pretty interesting. Going to bring in a Magnezone right here, and going to go for Hidden Power. I have no idea what type of Hidden Power this is, but... It's not going to do a lot. I'm going to go for a Brick Break here on top of my two Bulk Ups, which is going to completely wreck Magnezone. Poor thing never really stood much of a chance. I don't know if he expected a Brick Break from me or not, but unfortunately he got it. Going to bring out his Frost Slash right here. I'm going to get paralyzed, because I think I was setting up a Bulk Up or something right there. Either that or I was doing an Ice Punch, because honestly, outside of Ice Punch and stuff, I don't have much other options I can do, because I... I knew Sucker Punch wasn't going to do anything because Frostlass is just kind of a setup for uh, spikes mostly for uh, Lone here. I'm going to go for Sucker Punch right here. does nothing because he's just going to continue to lay up spikes. And the spikes are going to come back to haunt me a little bit here in close to the end. going to go for the Ice Beam right here. It's going to be enough to take out pretty much most of my health. going to go for an Ice Punch here. It's going to do a ton of damage compared to what I was expecting considering it's an Ice type. Go for Ice Beam here again. It's going to be enough to uh, get me down to zero, and that's going to be it for Toxicroak. He did a fantastic job, and I can't complain. Bring in my Tentacruel here, because he's a staple in my team now, officially. Goes for a Thunder Wave, going to paralyze me. And actually, it's not going to do much to paralyze in the long run, because I do get the Paralyze right there, but it's not going to be enough to hold over very long. Go for a Destiny Bond right here. And <clears throat> I guess he was expecting something that would be super effective, but I was going for a rapid spin, hoping to get my uh, spike, the spikes to go away. Unfortunately, since the ghost type, it prevents it. Goes for an ice beam right here. It's gonna do f little to no damage because Tinnacruel is a monster. I'm gonna set up my poison spikes. It's gonna be pretty much now the waiting game because he thinks he switched out. I think he's yeah, he switches out right here. Gonna bring in his Reuniclus and his Reuniclus has the effect where it takes no secondary damage, which is a really good plan considering that I usually run one or two sets of hazards on my team just in case. Go for the Psy Shock right here. It's going to completely wreck Tentacruel since it's a poison type. It's going to be enough to knock it out, and I'm I'm proud of Tentacruel. He, he did his job, got the poison spikes up. I'm going to go for a Shadow Ball right here. This kind of outspeed fight 
kind of shocked me, but I'm not one to complain. Gonna go for Shadow Ball back. This is a Shadow Ball fight, which is fun as heck. I'll I'll admit it. Leaves me with 112 HP. I get the second Shadow Ball off, and that's gonna be it for his Reuniclus. And now I'm I'm feeling pretty good about this. Gonna bring out his Leafeon. I know he loves that Leafeon, because Leafeon's a beast. I love it, too. Go for x Scissor here. It's going to be enough to knock me out. And that's all she wrote for Reuniclus. Going to take a little bit of poison from my spikes. I'm going to bring my Dragonite, because my Dragonite's awesome. Going to go for Leaf Blade here. It's not going to do a ton of damage, but it's going to do... Actually, no, it doesn't do much at all. i go for a Fire Punch here. This should wreck it, but unfortunately it does no damage whatsoever. So, I'm... Gonna go. Actually, he's gonna get another move. Gonna go with Aerial Ace. Gonna do moderate health damage. I'm gonna do Dragon or er, Outrage. <laughs> I can't think straight. Dragonite's gonna go with Outrage and gonna knock it out. Bring out Frostlass. Gets the poison. Sets up an Ice Beam right here, and that's gonna be all she wrote for Dragonite because well, Dragonite can't take an Ice Beam for anything. It's good, but it's not that good. Frostlass takes the poison for. Him. Takes the damage from the poison. Bring out my Gillescent, the Mustache God. Gonna go for a uh, Thunder Wave right here. So Gillescent's now paralyzed. I'm gonna go for Scald right here, and that's gonna be enough to take Frostlass out. And that's gonna be the end of the battle, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun doing it. I hope you guys stay tuned for another Pokemon battle later. And that's gonna be all for now. Hit the like and subscribe button. I will see you guys later.